show you my all-time favorite tricks, okay? One of my very favorite tricks. And for this, we're going to use four half dollars and a little piece of cork. In addition to that, we're going to use here a magic wand. It's a magic stick, actually. <laughs> oh, a long time ago, I used to call it a magic wand until I looked up the definition of a magic wand in the dictionary. A magic wand is defined as, as a stick that a fairy carries. <laughs> it's no longer a magic wand, it's now a magic stick, okay? <laughs> Besides the half, the wand and the cork, you notice we have this little le leather tube. See, this actually has a house for the, for the cork, okay? This acts always a house for the cork. What's going to happen is the cork is going to go inside like that. And just watch the half dollars, one at a time, starting with half dollar number one. You give it a little tap like this. See, poof, gone, vanish, disappears in there and there. It's no longer there. The second one is just a bit different, okay? The second one's a bit different because if I push through the back of the hand, it penetrates right through the hand. <laughs> Remember, if I push through the back of the hand, it penetrates. If I take these two coins and just wave, it's gone. Now I can take these coins, I can cause these two coins to vanish both at once. We give every chance possible to follow what's going on. We'll cause them to vanish one at a time. The last one's my very favorite one, okay? Because we don't use the wand this time. We don't use the wand. All we, do is we take it like this and we just toss. Vanishes one hand. And now for the very first time, I can actually show you those four half dollars <laughs> underneath, underneath the cork, which is the side of the cork house. Like it so far? It's pretty good. Thank you. I'll do it again. <laughs> a little bit different, though, okay? A little bit different. We're going to do just a bit different. This time, I'm going to take and place the cork in the hand. The cork's going to go inside the hand, and we're going to leave the coins underneath the house, okay? So the cork's in the hand, the coins are under the house. Watch the cork. See, the cork now changes to the coins. The coins which were inside the house changes to the cork, which is inside that cylinder that has no top, no bottom. And I think you guys were watching. <laughs>